All right, hello internet. Okay, so Lion is here. Um, if you're like me, you've been waiting for Lion for the past year now, and it is finally out. It's finally here. Um, it's in the App Store for thirty dollars. So on Tuesday, um, Apple released Lion, and Tuesday morning is when I downloaded it, and it actually went pretty fast. Um, people were expecting it's a four gig download, so it's pretty large. Um, so make sure you're on a pretty stable Wi-Fi when you do download it. Um, but it went pretty fast for me. Um, the total install plus download took about two and a half to three hours. So not too bad at all. But it is here and I have it. And I want to do a, just a quick um, kind of review on some of the main features and kind of show you what they actually look like. And uh, so I'm going to show you Lion now. Um, iLife 11 has also come out for uh, the Mac. And this is iPhoto, um, GarageBand, and iMovie. And I have not downloaded those yet. Those are all individually on the App Store for $15 each. And so I will do another video for those later. But I do just want to show you right now some of the great features of Lion. Um, so hopefully all of you can get on board with it and start playing around because it is a uh, great operating system. Um, so let's take a look. All right. So as you can see, the actual interface and the desktop um, doesn't hasn't changed too much. It's all pretty much stayed the same. Um, this is the new desktop picture that comes with Lion, um, one of the new uh, the new pictures I always like putting them up as my desktop. Um, but it's okay. So starting with some of the new features, let's look at first um, Launchpad. Launchpad is going to be a display just like so, and it's almost like an iPad um, display for your Mac. Um, you're going to be able to access all your different apps and in a quick fashion um, to access this uh, you can either click on that icon in um, your dock or you can simply take four fingers and kind of pinch on the uh, trackpad and that'll do the same thing and bring it up so from here you can launch any of your apps just like an ipad um, click them they launch um, you can also rearrange i can drag iphoto here you can drag it to the next page um, however you want you can make photos let's say i want to put my time machine in my utilities folder drag and drop as such um, and you can click folders and open them up. So it makes it very easy for accessing all your apps. Um, I haven't really customized this too much yet, but I definitely am looking forward to using this um, as a quick way to launch my apps. Uh, to get out of this, simply just click anywhere else and it goes away. Um, another great update that they had was Mission Control. Mission Control basically shows all your desktops. Um, in the past, you have had the ability to have multiple desktops. However, um, it has never been easier than it is now. Um, with these different desktops, you can add all your different applications. Let's say I have Mail open, Safari open. It'll, it'll show you any app that's open and on which desktop. Uh, makes it very easy switching back and forth. Um, let's say here I have my Safari open. If I want to go to my next desktop, just take three fingers and swipe to the side and I have a fresh new clean slate to work on and to open up any apps. Now if you want to see this without opening um, without opening your mission control simply swipe three fingers up and you can see all your desktops click on the one you want and it opens right away. Very slick, very easy um, and I'm very excited about this new feature. Um, it actually, I mean, it isn't really a new feature it's more of an updated uh, slicker version of what Apple already had. So, those are the two main um, kind of more utility-based um, features of Lion. The next big one, I would say, is the full-screen apps as well as the new update to Mail. Um, if we look at Mail here, Mail has taken on a full new look. As you can see, you can look at all your messages along the left side, and when you click on one, um, they open along the right. Now, the great thing about this is that your inbox, if you have multiple inboxes, it's all consolidated. No more, it no longer takes up a big portion of the screen. It's all up here. You can click on your inboxes and access any inbox that you have specifically, or just leave it on the overall inbox, which has all your messages in it, which is great. The full screen portion of these apps is also very nice. Uh, up in this top right-hand corner, there's these two arrows to expand. Simply click that and it is going to take you into a full screen view of any app that you have. Um, now to take really uh, to take full advantage of this, um, if you download the new iLife 11 from the App Store, um, there's three different uh, iLife products. There's iPhoto, 
iMovie, and GarageBand. These are all $15 each in the App Store, and they all take advantage of the full screen capabilities, as well as, as uh, numerous updates, which I'll be posting videos on later. I haven't um, played around too much with those new iLife um, applications, but I will in the future, and I'll be posting a video on that. But this full screen really takes away all the distractions, really lets you engage in what you are doing in all your apps, read your email in a very quick and efficient way. Um, now again, right from here, three fingers up, you can go back to any desktop you have. You have your mail, which is full screen. It almost makes it its own desktop. Um, so if we go back here and we just click escape, it's going to pull it out of full screen mode and put it right back into the desktop you had it. And if we go back to Mission Control, we can see that it's back on desktop one and that has it, there are these two different, there's Safari and Mail. Simply click whichever one you want and it pops right to that application. Very nice, very slick. Um, the one feature that I have found on here that Apple really changed around on all of us is the scrolling. Um, two finger scrolling now is the exact opposite. If you move your fingers up, it's going to scroll it down. And if you move your fingers down, it's going to scroll it up. Now they tried to make this, I, th I believe the reason they did this was to more streamline, um, the iPad and Mac experience, um, on an iPad or an iPhone, any iOS device. When you scroll your finger up, the page moves down. And so they really just brought that over to the Mac. This can be disabled if you're not used to it or if you don't want to get used to it. Um, I used it for about two days and now it's just, it, it really is intuitive. It kind of makes sense once you start using it. However, if you do want to disable it, just, uh, simply go to system preferences, go to your trackpad, and it's going to be this first option right here, scroll direction natural. Just unclick it if you want it to be back to the way you had it um, in previous versions um, of the Mac OS but I'm gonna leave that on for now. And so those are really the key features um, of Lion, uh, just really making things slick. Apple took a great product and made it even easier. Um, actually, there's one more, one more in Safari. When you're in here, let's say you are reading an article. Um, this was released actually before Lion. I had this feature in a previous version of Safari, but it's still relatively new and not many people know about it. So if you're reading an article and you want to get rid of all the distractions, all the ads, everything like that, you simply go up right in the um, address bar and you click this little reader button. And this reader button is going to take it's going to take all the content of the article and really put it in a very nice, slick, one way to read. Just takes out all the ads, um, very easy on the eye, makes articles a lot easier to read um, in Safari. And you can also print it this way, email this way, zoom in, zoom out. Um, really makes reading articles a lot slicker in Safari. Simply press escape to get out of that and you're back to your regular site. All right, so I hope this review has been helpful for you. Hope you hopefully you got to see um, kind of the features, the key features, and some of the uses um, of the new line. If you have any questions or if I didn't show something that you have questions about, um, I'm totally open to make another video or just writing back to you so you can tweet me uh, at mweger or you can email me at wegertech at gmail.com and of course just keep up with my blog and I post stuff there um, which is wegertech.com um, so hope you, hopefully this was helpful hopefully you enjoyed the review and uh, yeah send me any questions and I'm happy to help